jar joint and head tip. We'll give it or forehead. Let's call it forehead. Okay, um, back down to the leg. Let's double check our, make sure we got a bend in the leg. Close. Uh, like I said, I'm going to move this guy again. Um, so I'm in the side view. I know our orientation's off, but I'm just going to move. Whoops. Move this guy. Um, I'm going to hold down W and the left mouse button. I'm going to move it into world. And I'm going to move the ankle back. I know that I realize the ankle joint's not centered, but I want to make sure that I have a, a bend here in this joint. So maybe if I um, move the knee forward, ankle backwards. Okay. I'm going to get a nice bend in there. And then right now I'm noticing that the entire mesh and the joint is off the zero plane so I'm going to fix that really quick by selecting everything and moving it back down so again I'll, uh, I'll pause this really quick here okay uh, sorry about that and uh, we're back we're grounded very good very good uh, the skeleton's just above in the middle of the foot here I've uh, got a nice bend in the leg and in the arm uh, I'm going to check the positioning on the uh, leg. Uh, looks good. Very centered. And I think we are good to go. So, um, let's start orientating. Uh, work on the orientation of the joints. Um, okay, so when we're creating these, now even though in the joint tool we have XYZ um, preference set, um, a lot of times our joints are going to get um, kind of flipped around. And the reason is um, these joints here at the lower, and you'll see when I turn on the show axis, these joints right here, the up is uh, basically over here to the top left. These joints over here, uh, the up is over here. So the Zs are going to be flipped because this joint, if we look at it from the side, this joint chain changes direction. Um, so we're going to get a natural change. So let me just show you this with the common tools, the joint, joint orient. Uh, I'm going to select the hierarchy and I'm going to turn the axis on. Okay, so just like I predicted is um, the up is facing this way here at the lower the chain and as the chain curves around it's facing over here, and then we curve back around facing over here. So obviously this needs a little cleanup. So when the up is facing one way, the Z is going to be switched around too. So uh, we can go ahead and make sure that we're there. Um, my aim axis is X, up is Y, world direction is up, is Y, excuse me, and we can orient joints. But like I said, nothing really changed except for the joints, these two probably here at the end. So as we talked about earlier, uh, we're going to use the the uh, manual rotation and tweaks, and uh, we just have to decide which one we want. I'm going to go with uh, uh, flipping these here. So again, in the um, I'm going to rotate around the x-axis. So we have right here. I'm just going to go at 15 degrees because it's usually a nice chunk. And here we go. I'm just going to flip these around. Uh, using uh, setting up a 15 degree will get you spun around and I'm noticing I mean these are quite off so jump up to 30 increments to 90 and I'm going to go up one and tweak there we go I can obviously set these even higher but that's fine and last one okay all right so we are lined up through the spine and as usual I'm going to go through the bottom uh, start at the bottom work my way up watch the rotations and anything funky going on so I'm just going to work slowly up the chain and like I said I'm looking over here mostly so oops sorry okay up the chain so the rotation values 
good. Okay, we're fine. All right. Um, I don't know if I've I did this once after the last video, but let's save this scene again. Uh, actually, I'm, this is three. Well, let's save scene as three. Student version. Heck yeah. Um, okay. And let's go into the foot. And, uh, actually, let's turn this one off. Select hierarchy. Hide axis. Select hierarchy. Show axis. Okay. So now I think it's probably 10 times out of 10 the knee pops around. Same thing. The chain is headed one way and then it turns the other way. So we're confusing Maya into which kind of direction. Now let me turn this one back on here. Because, uh, you know, in your character, you basically want everything going the same way. So, all of our Zs are to the left, so we'll flip this guy around. And just like this. Oops, wait a minute. Let's see here. Anyone? What? Yep. Okay, keep going. Oops. Okay, let's see. That's right. I can't do that because this one's going down. Um... So that's wait a second, what's going on? So I need that one forward. Hold on, let me pause one second. Sorry, just getting uh, a little tired. <laughs> um oops. Okay, here we go. Am I going the right way at least? No. Okay, there we go. Y forward Z over here. Boy, I'm getting a little tired. All right, and we're going to move into the arm. And select hierarchy, show axis. Arm should be pretty clean. Um, from the top view. Zoom so this over here. Arm is clean except for the thumb. So i got my z-axis every single spot where I want it. Uh, Z is very close here. Let me see what time we got. Okay. Uh, I'm going to explain this pretty down dirty. So if I go into uh, the hand, and we want everything rotating around the Z. So if I select this thumb, select the hierarchy, and go into rotate, rotate Z, you can see the thumb's looking pretty good. Uh, but we need to we need to switch the rotation axis so the thumb folds under a bit here. So uh, what I'm going to do is go into here and oops, uh, I need to spin around the Y and let's drop it down to 15. There we go. Um, let's see what this looks like here. Rotation Z, much better. Curling down, probably even go one more. Let's check it. There we go. Ah, uh, that's 